Good morning, friends. I'm Dr. Jagdeep Singh. So today we are going to discuss double moving average method of forecasting. So what is what is it? The double moving average method of forecasting is a simple and commonly used technique for making short term predictions based on historical data. This method involves using two moving averages to identify trends and make forecasts. The first approach to use for a time series data that exhibits a trend but no signal teeth is the double moving average method. The double moving average method is smooth, is smooth, is smooth out past data by performing a moving average on a subset of data that represents a moving average of an original set of data. Here's how the double moving average method works. So, you need to understand. First moving average, MA1. Compute the first moving average by taking the average of a subset of consecutive data points, typically over a short time period. This moving average helps smooth out the random fluctuations in data, making the under, underlying trend more visible. Second moving average, MA2, calculate the second moving average by taking the average of values obtained from the first moving average. So whatever we have calculated uh, in MA1, that we, uh, value we need to consider. This second moving average further smooths out the data and helps identifying that trend more accurately. So third step is forecasting. Using the second moving average, forecast future uh, future values by ex extending the trend identified by the moving average. By analyzing the direction and step steepness of the second moving average, forecasters can predict the future trend of the data. The method can be used to forecast for short term periods and allowing for adjustments based. Please understand what is the formula. So the formula for double moving average is basically 2MA1 at time t minus MA2 moving average 2 at time t plus 2 divided by M minus 1. M is uh, the uh, period of uh, moving period basically. So here we are talking about uh, three uh, period moving average, right? So, uh, we will take m as 3 in numerical probably. Uh, then 2 divided by m minus 1 uh, bracket ma1 at time t minus ma2 at time t bracket close. So this is basically formula. Now we can take an example, numerical example. So you can see uh, here uh, there are 8 periods and actual data uh, is given as 165.22, and 223.7. So this is the actual data it is already given. Now we need to calculate MA1. You can see in the uh, that uh, Formula MA1 is required at time t, then MA2 is required, uh, is required at time t <coughs> to calculate this uh, double moving average, right? So let's consider, uh, let's calculate t months MA1. So the, uh, we need to cal calculate three months uh, moving average. So how to calculate? You know that, right? So we need to do, uh, add first three values, that is 165.22 plus 146.64 plus 182.50 divided by three. So we can get this first value one, which comes out to be 198.12. Similarly, we can uh, check uh, average of uh, next three values. So that is 146.64 plus 182.50 plus 118.54 divided by three then we will get 149.23. And again, next value, 182.50, plus 180.04 divided by three, and we will get 160.36. And similarly, we need to calculate and so on, right? Now, once we get this MA1, three months MA1, 
then we need to go for MA2. We need to calculate MA, MA2. So for calculating MA2, uh, three months MA2 moving average two, basically we need to consider MA1, three months MA moving average one. So we have got five values for MA1. So uh, again, how to calculate? Sim simple. So again, we need to take average of first three values, which is 198.12 plus 149.23 plus 160.36 divided by three. So we can get it 169.24. And similarly, next value, how to get it? So 149.23 plus 160.36 plus 155.34 and divided by three. So we can get it 154.98. And similarly, uh, next value that is 160.36 plus 155.34 plus 193.08 and divided it by 3. So we can get 169.59. And next, we cannot calculate why because if we, uh, we are going to calculate 155.34 plus 193.08 plus there is no value. So next, we cannot calculate, right? So leave it. So we have got this uh, MA1 and MA2 values, right? So formula says that 2 MA1 at time t minus 2, uh, two uh, minus MA2 at time t plus 2 divided by M minus 1 bracket MA1 at time t minus MA2 at time t. So this is our bracket to us. So this is the formula now. Yeah. Right. So here in one screen itself, you can see. So periods, actual uh, demand, actual values, then three uh, months moving average one, then three months moving average two, and then forecast. So how to calculate forecast? So formula is 2MA1 at time t. So what is 2MA1 at time t? 2 into MA1 at time t, it is basically 160.36. We, we need to leave first two values for uh, MA1. Why? Because uh, there, is, there are no corresponding value in MA2. So we need to leave first two values, right? So we need to consider uh, uh, corresponding values against MA2, right? So in MA1 corresponding to MA2, uh, the first value is 160.36. So you can see the formula. So 2 into 160.36 minus 169.24, which is MA2, first value of MA2, 169.24 plus 2 divided by 3 minus 1. 3 is basically 3 months moving away. So we have considered 3 and bracket 160.36 minus 169.24 and it will give us 142.61. So that is forecast for 6 period uh, using double moving average formula, right? For, for 7th period, uh, we can calculate similarly by putting the values in the formula 2, 2, 2 multiplied by MA1 at time t. So what is that? One, uh, 2 multiplied by 155.34 minus MA2 at time t. So what is that? So it is uh, minus 154.98 plus 2 divided by 3 minus 1 bracket MA1 at time t. What is that? So 155.34 minus 154.98. So it will give us um, 156.08. And similarly, we need to calculate final uh, uh, value for 8th period, which is 2 multiplied by 193.08 minus 169.59 plus 2 divided by 3 minus 1 bracket 193.08 minus 169.59 bracket close. So, we can get 240.05. So this is how we can calculate uh, uh, this forecast using double moving average method of forecasting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.